This elevator um, was built by my grandfather as a young person. He worked for a cooperative elevator, and I, he was an extremely um, ingenuitive person, a very inquisitive person, and I have a feeling he, he, he probably studied the co-op's elevator, and basically when he broke off and, and risked buying land and starting to farm, he built this elevator. The original elevator was installed behind me, and it um, still is operational that the bins are made of wood, and the elevator is also made of wood. The interesting things about the, these systems is they're operated by one single motor. Um, the new elevator system is the one that I feel most familiar with because that's the one we're using. Um, and it, it was installed in the 1960s, and then we've done modifications over the years. Our newest bin is to the back, and it has a different venting system than, than these have, and it's, it's my favorite bin. It, it, it stores the grain the best, but it's also the newest. We've done updates. We have fans um, that we have installed recently um, over the last five um, to eight years, ten years on some of them, and we try to keep it all well-maintained and, and pretty much state-of-the-art. Our scale system, we still have the original scale. It's weights and a balance and it takes forever to wait and we don't use it anymore. It's still in there. Now we have a digital scale that's accurate within five pounds and I can weigh my farm cat on the scale. And we can handle, we can handle over 100,000 bushels here if we had to, including the old elevator. Each of these bins holds 20,000 bushels, and the, and the new one behind me holds 35,000 bushels. And it's a huge advantage for a farmer to be able to um, control the um, sale of their product. We, we are not required to sell our grain at the time of harvest, but we can store it and keep it and, and sell it when um, when we're prepared to do so. The marketing of grain is extremely complicated commodity and um, basically it's not uh, the best idea to have to sell your grain at the harvest time because harvest time is when there is the most of that grain available because everybody is harvesting it and selling it. So obviously when you have a lot of it the price is going to come down. So it's a, it's a huge advantage to not have to sell it at that time and be able to keep your grain um, instead of selling your wheat in July. It can be moved um, in six to eight months after the harvest. We do um, store the grains, the wheat is harvested in July and we will store that uh, through the fall. Uh, by fall we have to start making sure the bins are, are empty of wheat and prepare for fall crops which include corn and milo and then um, the corn and milo and some wheat would be held back for the entire winter and uh, we can once again you start in emptying your bins and rotating and getting ready for the next harvest and, and that's basically the process of handling the grain here.